What's up, YouTube? This is John from Project Ellsworth, and I'm back with you today for another reaction video. A couple days ago, I got an email from yeah. Metal Injection telling me that the Foo Fighters released a death metal song. I love the Foo Fighters, absolutely love Dave Grohl. Uh, I've watched a documentary on the Foo Fighters. I watched a documentary that Dave Grohl made called Sound City. I know that he's got a show on HBO Max I've watched a couple episodes of. Uh, I recently, in one of my haul videos, I showed that I picked up his uh, storyteller's book or story, whatever, his, his recent book, and haven't had a chance to read that yet. So needless to say, I love the Foo Fighters. I really, really, even more so than the Foo Fighters, like Dave Grohl. I mean, how many people do you know of in music, period, that really seem to like what they do more than Dave Grohl does? I've been listening to music for a very, very long time, and that list is very, very short. He loves what he does, and I love what he does, too. So, as much as I dislike death metal, I'm very, very curious, more than anything, to find out what this Foo Fighters song could be. It's called Dream Window. March of the Insane, and there's a uh, lyric video here that I'll have down in the corner for you guys to watch along with, and that's that. So let's get to it. How you guys doing? You doing good? I hope you're all doing well. Happy Friday. All right, like I said, link to the original video will be down in the uh, description section below. Let's get to it. Foo Fighters, Dream Window, March of the Insane. And there's a little bit of that for you. Alright, so that doesn't sound like Dave Grohl, but I'm definitely going to, when this is over, research this to make sure that this is actually the Foo Fighters. This is fantastic. I am digging this a lot. This is right up my alley. Absolutely love this. This does not sound like death metal. It's... It actually sounds like, like old school thrash and the vocals, there's a little band out there from the 80s that actually reunited in the last couple. Can't hear myself, I feel like I'm screaming. There's a band from the 80s that I saw at a very young age in a very small club in, I don't even remember. My, I was young enough that my mom and dad had to take me to a small club. I think it was called The Metal Shop and it was in, I wanna say it was in Delaware. It may have even been in Philadelphia somewhere. Uh, the band was called Coroner. They put out several albums back then, and I know that in the last couple of years they reunited. They had a song that was released called Masked Jackal, and I loved it. I loved that band. I got pretty into them in the 80s. I very recently, I'd say two years ago maybe, that's very recently when you're 50 years old, uh, I bought that album on disc. I like got away from them for years, and somewhere along the line, something reminded me of them. I know most of you don't care about that at all. But my point being, the vocals on this track are very similar 
to that of coroner. So there you go. You have no idea how bad I hope that this is the Foo Fighters. <laughs> this is so good. I like that solo. It's what I like about it is it's not overly complicated and it just simply sounds good. There was a whole lot of that back in the 80s. It seems like more modern metal. Everybody wants to play a thousand miles an hour and be so technically proficient that that is what, not everybody, don't take that as a blanket statement, that, but a very large majority of modern day metal bands want to play to impress as far as technical proficiency goes, and they're not nearly as concerned with playing something that simply sounds good. That solo sounded fantastic. It suited the song, it served the song, it wasn't 25,000 miles an hour, and it just simply sounded good. That's all it takes. This is just good. I mean, there's nothing more. Holy crap. Ugh, I'll tell you what. I, I, I can't, can't even express to you how badly I hope that that really is Dave Grohl and the Foo Fighters. That's wonderful. I mean, I have to assume it is. This is their YouTube channel that I'm seeing this on and their little FF Foo Fighters logo, logo is in the bottom right corner. One has to assume that that's them. Uh, I, in addition to getting an email from Metal Injection telling me about this song, this morning I got an email from Metal Injection saying that the Foo Fighters were putting out an album that was going to be heavier than typical Foo Fighter music. I have not read that article yet, but I did see the headline on Metal Injection, so I got to check that out. That was fantastic, man. I, I mean, what what more can I say about it? It was great. It was, it felt like the stuff that's right in my wheelhouse. I've said on my channel numerous times. I'm 50 years old. I was alive, well, and a, a, a teenager in when thrash started. I mean, at the, the beginning of thrash music. I was a teenager in the 80s. I graduated high school in 1989. So thrash music is what's in my wheelhouse. That's my 
that's my comfort zone. That's the stuff I love. I'm, I'm 50 now, and that's still the stuff that I love. I still listen to Overkill and Testament and Metallica and Megadeth and Sl Slayer and I, all the, the shit that I grew up listening to is exactly what I still listen to. The only newer band that I listen to on a regular basis ain't so new anymore. It's Lamb of God. And they're, they've been around for friggin' 20 years. They're not even new. Most newer bands just don't do for me what the stuff I grew up with does. And I think that will be true of our current generation and it's true of generations that grew up in the 60s and in the 70s with the disco era, with all the classic rock. If you grew up, you are just a fan of your, you know, of what you grew up with. You're a product of your environment. I was in the environment of 80s pop music and thrash metal. And that is still what I listen to today. This song's music was very, very 80s thrash metal which is what Dave Grohl grew up listening to as well. I've seen numerous times that Dave has talked about how big of a thrash metal fan he was, and he liked Sepultura, and he was very publicly known to be a big Motorhead fan. Motorhead really wasn't thrash, but I think you're picking up what I'm putting down. He loves this stuff. So it wouldn't surprise me at all in any way if that was Dave Grohl. He also did a, a, a project many years ago at this point called Probot, where he wrote and recorded music with several other um, heavy metal, hard rock, and thrash musicians back then. But that was when he was playing only drums on the, the tracks, as far as I know. That may be wrong as well. He may have played some guitar on there. Little known fact, Dave Grohl's first instrument was actually guitar. It was not drums. But anyway, I, I, I loved it. I, I, I can't say enough good things about it. I'm definitely going to look into this to see if that was, in fact, Dave Grohl. Kind of have a feeling that it was. All right, I'm getting out of here. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know how you feel about Dave Grohl, Thrash Metal, Foo Fighters, and all that happy crap that us YouTubers like. All right, again, link to the original video will be down in the description section below. Do me a huge personal favor if you're still here. Click that subscribe button. It helps me grow this channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Share it with your friends. If you liked it, chances are they will too. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Have a great weekend, folks.